Here's another example we're going to look at. Uh, we're going to try to graph this polynomial function. So first thing we're going to try to do is to find the end behavior of our graph. So to do that again, we're going to try to find our degree. This time it's 3, which is odd. Uh, our leading coefficient, which in this case is negative 1. Remember, it's the coefficient of the term with the highest degree. It's not going to be represented by the one that comes first. So therefore, it's negative. And of course, what that tells us about our graph, anytime you have an odd degree and a negative leading coefficient, uh, the left side will rise and the right side will fall. So we're going to use that when we graph our function. Next, what we're going to try to do is find the zeros of our function. So we're going to set it equal to zero. And I'm going to factor out the common factor. Uh, not only am I going to factor out the common factor of x squared, but I'm going to factor out the negative x squared and rewrite it so that it's in descending order. So when I divide this by negative x squared, it's going to give me x, and then this divided by negative x squared will be negative 3. At this point in time, I can set both these equal to 0 and solve. The reason I know I can't factor this anymore is because it's linear. So that I get 1, 0 of 3 with a multiplicity of 1, and then this will give me 0 with a multiplicity of 2. And uh, that's good because I do have a degree of 3, so I'll find three zeros. After I do that, what I can do is a couple more things. I can plug in 0 and see what I get. 0 gives me 0. So not only is that one of my x-intercepts, but that's also my y-intercept. And then next, next I can test for symmetry. There is no symmetry in this one. Because if you look at the polynomial, this term has a degree of 2, this term has a degree of 3, one's even, one's odd, so no symmetry. Alright, so we found those uh, four things, and we're going to use those along with some other points to try to help us out. So our zeros are 0 and 3, 0 and positive 3, 1, 2, 3. We know the left side is going to go up and the right side is going to go down. We're going to plug in some other values to see if we can help find some uh, function values. So I think it was 3x squared minus x cubed. So what I want to do is I want to plug in something like negative uh, 1 and see where's my function at negative 1. Remember to make sure you put these in parentheses when you square them. That'll give us a positive 1 and then uh, 3. And here, negative 1 cubed is negative 1 times negative 1 is a positive 1. So we get a value of 4. So we have the 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. As you can tell, that looks like it's going up to us. This 0 had a multiplicity of 2, so it's going to actually bounce off the x-axis. So I'm going to try to plug some value in between these two. Uh, maybe I'll use both of them. Maybe I'll plug in 1 and 2. And then I'll plug in something like 4 to figure out where I am also. So next I'll find f of 1. When I do that, uh, that'll give me a nice little 3 here. And there it'll give me minus 1. So I'll be at 2. And we'll plug in 2 real quick. So 3 times 2 squared minus 2 cubed. So that'll be 4 times 3 is 12. And then minus 8. So that will also give me a value of 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And then lastly, I'll plug in something like 4. When I do that, I'll get 3, 4 squared, minus 4 cubed. Uh, that'll give me 16. 16 to 3 is 48. And then minus 64. So if I add 6, this should be 16, and it's negative. It's a bit negative 16. So you can see our graph will look a little something like this. So there's the graph of our polynomial.